Olá pessoal! To my Brazilian watchers! Alô Suzaman! To my German watchers! Kuma sta kayang lahat! To my Filipino watchers! Saubana! Wonka! Umuntu! To my South African watchers! And hello everybody! To everyone! I really hope I didn't butcher my pronunciations. This is Christian Pokemon Champion here with another challenge! The beating Pokemon Heart Gold with only Constrict and Leech Life. Now I'm going to be upfront about this right now. It is 100% impossible to win this game with Constrict alone. Constrict is his normal type move, which does not affect Ghost type Pokemon. So this is how we're going to combat this. For the trainers I have Ghost type Pokemon, I'll be showing the footage from a completely separate Pokemon challenge, similar to this one. With the other one, I'll be using only Leech Life to deal damage. So you'll be getting two challenges for the price of one. I will also put the entire footage of Zubat's run. Hopefully this won't be too confusing. Both Pokemon were chosen by you guys. According to your votes, Drifloon won the Constrict Challenge, and Zubat won the Leech Life Challenge. Ninkata would have been a great choice, but Zubat was chosen as tribute. Since I won't be talking about Zubat in the entire video, I will be showing the raw footage of the entire run in a separate video. Yes, the entire raw footage. Androssi. Link in the card thingy that just popped up. Now, the rules. I can only use one Pokemon to deal any damage to my opponent, and the damage must only originate from Constrict or Leech Life. This means that even status condition moves and weather condition moves are not allowed. E.g. Confusion, Burn, and Hail. The Pokemon must know either moves, that they know these moves without needing to level up. In our case, both Drifloon and Zubat know their respective moves at level 1, so we're good. Though I'll be showing Zubat's run when fighting against Ghost Pokemon. Inevitably, Drifloon will still have to fight them, so I'll be allowing the use of other damaging moves for just just a ghost Pokemon. As a note, the only trainers that I have to beat to progress the game are as follows. The rival, the fourth gym, and the fourth elite four member. Any non-ghost type Pokemon the aforementioned trainers have thereafter will be attacked using only Constrict. If this makes the challenge too easy, well, I don't know, I thought it was pretty tough. As has been mentioned, things like confusion aren't allowed. However, I will be allowing the use of non-damaging moves e.g. Minimize and Torment. I feel so tormented doing these challenges. Since these moves do not deal any damage, I reserve the right to evolve Drifloon and Zubat to Driftbloom, Golbat, and Crobat respectively. My main prerogative is to find out if Constrict and Leech Life are enough of a damaging move to win the game. It is not to find out if these weak Pokemon without the use of non-damaging moves can win. I can only use other Pokemon as HM Martyrs. I cannot use items during battle, with the exception of followed items, but not using them will be considered best practice. And lastly, beating the game will be defined as beating the champion of Chodo. Johto, not Chodo. But of course beating Red will be my goal. Dang, that's a lot of rules. Drifloon's base stat is 348. Their physical attack is weaker than its special attack, which is not ideal for Constrict, a physical attacking move. Their defenses are low. They're even weaker than Shikataki's. Their HP, however, might be exactly what we need to complete the challenge. Moreover, Zubat's base stat is 245. Their physical attack is even weaker than Drifloon's. Clearly their defenses and HP are low, but I'm super surprised to find out that he is actually slower than Drifloon. As for Drifloon's accepted move pool, these are the only moves allotted for this challenge. And this is the accepted move pool for Zubat. There are a few pretty good moves, like Minimize and Torment, but overall not a lot of work with that will be shown to be useful. Since Constrict and Leech Life are the focal moves of these runs, let's talk about them. Constrict is a 10 powered normal type move. It is officially the weakest move in the game that has a set power. There are other moves that can get lower, like Return and Frustration, but they don't have a set power. It also has a 10% chance of lowering the speed of my opponent by one stage, but since I'll be over leveled throughout the run, this will soon become useless. Leech Life is a 20 power bug type move prior to Gen 7. I wish I could have used it in Gen 7. It also adds 50% of the damage dealt to my opponent to my HP. Pretty nice, but since it won't be dealing too much damage, it won't be that useful. Now let's begin! I named myself Job Jr. I made Drifloon, the starter in place of Cyndaquil. I did the same for Zubat for consistency's sake. This is so that my rival would have Totodile as their starter. He's honestly my favorite starter of Gen 2. So I wanted to see this little guy during battle. I named Drifloon Jacques. Oh, she's a girl. Um, and named Zubat Joseph. After, I'm gonna butcher this really badly. Jacques Etienne... Montegolfier and Joseph Michael Montegolfier. I'm sorry, guys. Who are supposedly the first two people who invented the hot air balloon, at least according to Wikipedia. I was going to add how this is an educational channel, but. What's copper? Dude, I don't think there's a window. Why are you stopping me? Why are you stopping me? I lost the race to an old man. Not the first time. Why are you stopping me? Talk to Professor Oak. And now it's time to fight the rival. You're good for being weak. Dude, you were just leering at me and nothing else. I talked to the police and named my rival. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Although I did name him Elihu in the other challenge. I really miss saying Steak and Elihu. Trainer Joey wanted my number. Can I have your number? Can I have it? Why are you stopping me? Just let me play. Now the biggest issue isn't necessarily that I'm using only the weakest attacking move in the game, is that I can only have one attacking move. 
This led to me not having enough PP to defeat my opponents. Ha, I said PP. I learned Focus Energy at level 14, which was a surprise to me because I wasn't considering it as one of my non damaging moves. So this might become useful in the future. I actually had to train to beat this guy. It's time to fight Faulkner! I quickly learned that due to Pidgey's stand attack, which is the only thing they'll ever do, coupled with Pidgeotta's roost, this battle was just brutal. I actually have to train again. Bum, bum, ba -da -dum, bum, bum. That guy's been watching me train for hours. Ah! He saw me! Uh, just look away. Smooth. While training for Faulkner, I learned Swallow in place of Focus Energy. I felt Focus Energy wasn't putting enough work. With this setup, Constrict, Minimize, Stockpile, and Swallow, kind of weird to have only normal type moves on a ghost type Pokemon. I'm able to take down Pidgey down in three hits, which means I would only get two sand attacks on me. I spam Minimize and Stockpile. Even with these along with Swallow, I'm still not able to defeat Pidgeotto. I had to actually resort to spamming moves until they lost PP in Roost in order for me to beat him. After 18 attempts, I just defeated the first gym of the game. After 13 hours and 30 minutes, I think my eyes are twitching. Since Joseph didn't have Minimize and Leech Life is weak to flying Pokemon, Joseph had a tougher time with Faulkner. Let's just continue with the game, I guess. Even though I'm now overleveled, it still takes me a few hits to beat even a Nidoran female. Oh, I found a Repel! I'm going to need it to repel all the ladies, you know, because they can't get enough of me. Hashtag forever alone. This trainer has an Onyx. This will show me just how bad Jasmine might be in the future. So many constricts. So many constricts! Well, that was horrible. I am not ready for Jasmine. You can't make me. Dang it, Joey. Thud. Help me! Grass version of me talked to a Shadow Man in the well before I fought Rocket Nerds. Swipe for no swiping. Swipe for no swiping. Aw, oh, man. Now that I got rid of Team Rocket, I can now fight some bugs. Shiitake? Let's fight Bugsy. I spanned Minimize. After a couple constricts, they used U-Turn. This gets Kakuna out. Kakuna knows Poison Sting, which if it ever poisoned me, I would just restart. Luckily, I took him down without getting poisoned this time, with several constricts. Bugsy used a healing item. Scyther used U-Turn again. Can't handle the floon, can ya? Which brought out Metapod. Great, I'm gonna run out of constricts because of Harden. Oh, he doesn't know Harden? Noise. Even though Bugsy used a Super Potion, I barely had enough Constricts to take down Scyther. I was honestly scared I had to grind again to beat him. This was done on my third attempt. With Joseph, they were at level 48. Dang. It's time to fight the rival. Because question mark, question mark, question mark cheats, they're fighting with a child of MC Hammer. So now let's go back to Joseph's challenge. As a side note, with Joseph, I decided to fight the rival before the second gym for training purposes. So Joseph is at level 42. MC Hammer Jr., after I attacked them, cursed me. Unfortunately, curse becomes a large difficulty for Joseph in the future. But of the case for this particular battle, MC Hammer Jr. went down. Next was Croconaw. Since Curse was taking down large portions of my health, I went back and forth from Leech Life to Roost to survive each attack from my opponent. After five Leech Lifes, they went down. Last off is... Elihu! How dare you use a Zubat! Just like before, I went back and forth between healing and attacking. His fake Joseph got a supersonic on me. Luckily, we got past the confusion and the imposter lost in four Leech Lifes. Uhura! Dude, get out of my way. <sighs> Ninja! Now let's fight Whitney. Clefairy turned into Jock. Wait, what? Oh, it was Parish Song that fainted me. So clearly, Milk Tank has Rollout, which is super effective. And Milk Drink. Now, Rollout wasn't actually an issue due to Minimize, but Milk Drink, my Milk Drinks brings all the bowls to the yard, was the issue. Just like Ru. <laughs> oh, that was really funny. Was the issue, just like Roost was with Faulkner. I honestly thought this was going to take forever to win, but instead, I won on my fifth attempt, due to dumb luck. And here's how. I started by attacking Clefairy, because I wanted to conserve the PP and my other moves I had. She switched out for Miltank before I defeated Clefairy. With Miltank, I started spamming Stockpile and Minimize, and making sure Miltank had at least a little damage on it. This is so that she would be using Milk Drink, and eventually lose the PP in a move. This was similar to how I handled Faulkner. Seriously, why do all you gym leaders have just the worst moveset for this run? Eventually, they had to resort to struggle. Milk Tank was then defeated. Yes! Wait, no! I forgot about Clefairy! I don't know if I have enough Constricts to win. I just hope I have enough. Clefairy, use Metronome! I know! I'll use Jump Kick! Missed. Ha <laughs> ha! I'll take that win. I'm a tree! Why can't I beat this stinking quill fish? To progress the game, I have to fight question mark, question mark, question mark. So that means it's time to go back to Joseph's run. Now, as you can see, Joseph is at level 65. It got pretty bad at this point of the game for Joseph. The battle, because Joseph didn't have Minimize, had to battle with Shackles. 
like Curse from MC Hammer Jr. Although in this match they didn't curse him, but this time they used Confuse Ray. Eyeball used the Thunder Wave, which went really great with Confuse Ray. Crocodile wasn't an issue, but the Joseph Imposter was double infected, is that even a word, by Leech Life, along with more confusion. <sighs> this battle sucked. But it doesn't end here. Jim Force at Ghost Type Jim. So it's not time yet to go back to Juck. After several hours, am I crying? I got Joseph to level 92. Yes. There's not much between the rival battle and this gym, but I had to train almost 30 levels to overcome this trainer. Here's how it went. As per usual, MC Hammer Jr. used Curse a lot. But not just that. Several of Morty's... Someone texted me. Several of Morty's Pokemon use Spite, which takes away PP from Leech Life. So if they ever use it on me, I had no chance to beat all four Pokemon. This is why I taught Taunt on Joseph. Taunt prevents the opponent from using non-attacking moves. So MC Hammer Jr. was forced to use Lick. Haunter wasn't much of an issue most of the times. But MC Hammer didn't depend on things like Curse. So Taunt wouldn't help much. But after seven Leech Lives, they fell. Joseph is literally almost four times stronger than MC Hammer, and it still took seven attacks to beat them. Now you know how difficult this gym was. Leech Life is weak against poison type Pokemon, and MC Hammer Jr., Haunter, and MC Hammer are all poison type, along with Ghost type. His last Haunter wasn't much, but at what cost? Lots of training. Big Groot! Little Groot! Teenage Groot! So I'm at the fifth gym. You know how I use Minimize? And Minimize is supposed to decrease the chances of my opponent hitting me? Well, I used Minimize while fighting this guy's Machoke, but he would never miss. I don't get it. I don't, and don't tell me this is a glitch due to save states or something like that. I used in-game saves during this area and made sure I restarted the game. And yet he still wouldn't miss. Even after six Minimizes and several attempts. I literally had to train two levels to get past this guy. I'm sure I'm gonna get a lot of comments on this. <laughs> uh. Anyway, once I got past the hacker and turned off Munchop's shower, I found out this guy is a plagiarizer and also uses evasive tactics. I tried to use Jacques' feminine charms to attract. I even tried using politics with Amargo and neither worked out. There's nothing I could do to get past this guy's Groot without training. I figured I would have to anyway with that elephant in the room. Pushing down on me, pushing down on you, no, no man could ask for. for. Under pressure, that burns a building down. Splits a family into puts, puts people, people on, on streets. streets. I don't even think I was right. Maybe we should hear it one more time. <laughs> no, I think it's right. Yeah. Yeah. Can, well, no, let's listen yeah. To it. yeah. Okay. Now that I've trained to level insert level here because I didn't checked. I began my match with Martin Van Buren. After six minimizes, I basically just went on pure luck to defeat my opponent. Four constricts and they healed. Hitting them was tough because of copyright issues. With six constricts, however, I won a legal battle. I didn't want to beat you, my friend. With Polyrath, it wasn't about their tactics that made it difficult, but the fact that they were bulky and Van Buren liked to heal them. There was 16 total constricts and Joseph finally won against them. I celebrate with a solemn heart, for I know what is next. Afterward, I went straight to the sixth gym. It did not go well. Even at level 75, I still couldn't defeat her. I eventually decided to skip her and continue on with the story. I'll be back. I fought a giant Magikarp, and the Otaku got charged with assault. If you can't do the time, then don't use Hyper Pima on a random person. Why is there a bunch of Joseph wannabes here? I love bypassing a crime lord's hideout security system with a balloon. Jock! It's like looking into a mirror. Sup, Calic. Once I defeated Team Rocket, I started for the 7th gym. Ah! What happened to me? I underestimated you. The stinking seal. <sighs> so here's what happened. I kept attacking it. But whenever his HP got low, they would use rest. And because the AI knows exactly when they'll wake up, they immediately used rest. I tried out attract, and it worked. But I used more than half of my constricts to beat this one seal. And I still don't think what Dugong is going to do with that rest, let alone having enough constricts for pilot swine. Ah! I'm sorry. After playing this game with two separate challenges at the same time, it's getting to my mental state. That's it. I'm giving Jacques Metronome. I loathe you entirely. Uh, I just got past his dugong, and now I'm about to have to fight his pile of swine. But my HP is so low, and Hale is just going to beat me. Well, that was unexpected. While this match only took about 11 attempts, it was one of the most irritating my whole YouTube career. And I am not saying that lightly. That, or I'm just cranky and I need a Snickers bar. Because the next part of the game was to go to the radio tower to fight Team Rocket. I went over there. Wait, where's Team Rocket? <laughs> Calm. I can't... I can't, I can't progress the game without beating the sixth gym. That's okay. I'm okay. I can handle this. I can't do this! Care of knowing what this world is about. Watching some good friends screaming, Let me out! Tomorrow gets me higher, higher. higher.
<laughs> Turned away from it all like a blind man. Sat on a fence, but it don't work. Keeping home with love, but it's so slash and torn. Oh, why, 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 why? Ah! I think my neighbors hate me. <laughs> Now, let's have a rematch with Jasmine. It took a long time, but now Jacques is at level 99. Let's see if we can win. No. Okay guys, it's time to apply the rule from earlier. I'm now going to allow Jacques to evolve. This is not something I wanted to do. First off, with Magnemite, I use six minimizes and three stockpiles. Because Jacques has metronome, each attack is increasing. After several constricts, Magnemite fell. The second Magnemite only needed three. Now Steelix, he often uses Sandstorm. That, with Paralyze, really make it difficult. My HP just keeps going down. It's funny how it's Dilix attacks. Sound like a whip in turbo mode. After 18 excruciating attacks, Steelix was taken down. Well, that sucked. Joseph II was forced to fight at level 100 and fully evolved, equipped with Metronome to win this match. There's not much more I can do to further strengthen these two, so let's just hope they are strong enough as they are. Now let's go to the 8th gym. All right, Team Rocket. Let's instead infiltrate a crime organization, because I apparently have the time to do nothing else. Dude, you blew my cover. So, of course at level 100, there's no reason to battle trainers anymore, except to acquire more money. Who are you people? Now it's not the time to have a grudge match. What does this button do? Dude, you're literally just looking at the wall. I pushed the painted lady off the ice? Wait. Now I'm stuck. We're finally at the final gym. Kind of. Who else had a difficult time with this puzzle? Gary Dose is spamming Dragon Rage which always deals 40 damage. So I just skipped stockpile for the time being and just used Minimize. After a few Constricts, they were defeated. With Dragon Air, I then used my stockpiles and defeated them with Constrict. What else am I gonna use? And the second loss in the same way. Now Kingdra, they had the goal of plagiarizing my evasive tactics. So many smoke screens, so many smoke screens. Well, I probably lost since one more hit will defeat me and I don't have that many Constricts left. Oh, I am very much surprised. What helps you win battles? Cheating! You answered right! That can't be! Claire, calm your blue hair. Yay! A useless rare candy! Shahoo! A legendary Pokemon lost it. When they saw my level 100 drift bloom, it came to the wrong neighborhood. Ho! Uh -oh. More like, oh no, I lost. I love that the painting ladies just stand there until you leave. Bah, Felicious. There just has to be some kind of hidden item here. Game Freak tricked me! We're finally at the Poke League. Prior to challenging the Elite Four, I decided it would be prudent to locate a good chunk of the Ethers and Elixirs, since I only have Constrict to beat five strong trainers. After doing this, I feel like I have enough PP healers to win the Elite Four. First off is Bill. Of course I use Minimize against his first Zatu. It took seven Constrict to defeat Illuminati Bird, one for Jinx because of the crit, four for the second Illuminati Bird, six for Executor, and a giant 16 to beat Slowbro, with a total count of 34 Constricts. As you can tell, this trial isn't a battle of HP, but PP. I'm also honestly afraid I won't have enough PP for Minimize. Ultimately, it took seven attempts for Will-O-Wisp. I wanted to do a Will-I-Am joke, but I figured Will-O-Wisp is a little more Pokemon-y. Next is Naruto. Ninja. His first Pokemon is Ariados. Oh, <laughs> I forgot to heal. Now the issue with this Elite Four member is poison. Any single Pokemon challenge is difficult with poison, so I just start over if I'm poisoned. Ariados takes eight constricts. Next is Muck. Muck used copyright infringement. How dare you copy my strat? Jacques! So of course Minimize was an issue. Ultimately, after I got past Minimize, it took eight constricts with three missing to defeat Muck, three for Venomoth, and Joseph. How did you get here? It took five constricts to hit him, but I missed after four times because I used Kagi Bushi no Jutsu. Why do you gotta do me like that, Joseph? Lastly was Rock. Now it was this particular Pokemon where I was so close to just giving up. And here's why. When I healed prior to Koga, I only used one ether to give me 10 more constricts. I initially thought this would be enough, but I clearly didn't have enough constricts to work with to defeat all his Pokemon. I thought about how I could get past this guy, but then I remembered that I could just use more PP healers. Because of this, Jock was able to defeat Rock in 17 hits with six more lost due to Protect. You know, he actually had three Protects in a row. I didn't even know that was possible. This makes a total of 51 constricts being necessary to defeat Koga with about 57 attempts overall. I thought you were going to be another Cynthia or Bertha. Phew, I'm getting too old for this. Now it's Bruno. Please don't be difficult. First off, he oddly switches his Chuck Norris for Jackie Chan as I use Minimize. Seven constricts and I defeated him. I love your movies. Next was Rocky Balboa. That was a missed opportunity joke in my previous challenge. Clearly I was a little worried about him due to him being a rock and having Sandstorm. But after eight of constricts and they lost. It took five constricts for Hulk Hogan, two for Bruce Lee, and Chuck Norris came back. And dang. 
I lost to counter. So counter is an issue. It can't miss because it's not him attacking. So to counter this, I'm so funny. I thought, what about throwing Ultra Balls until they lost all their counters? However, it's not that simple, however. Another issue is that Hulk Hogan used Foresight earlier. Because of that, Chuck Norris wouldn't miss with his quick attacks, which he used intermittently with counter. I have to make sure I somehow get past both. So this is what I did. I switched out to my other Joseph, Joseph 2, and allowed him to reset Jacques, eliminating Foresight. Thanks for taking the hit for the team, Joseph. Because of Joseph's sacrifice, Jacques was able to get past Chuck Norris with 8 constricts. This makes a total of 30 constricts with 9 attempts. The last Elite Four member was Karen. Unfortunately, Umbreon knew Faint Attack, which means that they can't miss, even if I had 6 minimizes. With a combination of Confused Ray and Kagebushu no Jutsu, along with super effective attacks, Umbreon sucked. So I just skipped using Minimize and went for Stockpiles to increase my chances of surviving. It took 11 Constricts to defeat Umbreon. Murkrow was next. This is my chance to use Mina. Mice. <sighs> because of Whirlwind, my status condition moves won't help me out. And he knows Faint Attack. Is this punishment for using Minimize throughout the game? Por qué? I went straight for Constrict. A critical? Yes! Now it's Hound Doom. Because he doesn't have Faint Attack, I can now use Minimize. Five constricts for him. MC Hammer! Because it's a ghost type Pokemon, let's go back to Joseph. He won with six Leech Lights! Last is Vile Plume. Your entire team is vile. As you can see, I have so little HP left. Moreover, Vile Plume has Moonlight, so I was very nervous. But after the 11 constricts, Karen was defeated. I literally beat my hands in the air at celebration. Guys, this challenge was really tough. With a total of 28 constricts, she was defeated after 18 attempts. Now it's time for the champion. Now, before I review Jacques' match with Lance, Let's talk about Joseph's attempt at Elite Four. I'm not gonna go into great detail, but I'll explain what I did to win. My first attempt, I found that Joseph wasn't strong enough for even Koga. This is because Leech Life is weak against these guys. This led to a lack of necessary PP to beat his team. So I never really used Ethers to have enough Leech Lifes to win against the champ, but I wasn't happy. I tried another approach. This time I utilized a bunch of X items to have Joseph strong enough to use the limited amount of Leech Lifes they had to win. While I did win twice in two different ways, I went on my way. It wasn't until I fought the Poison Gym in Kanto when I had a revelation. I rechecked the moves that Joseph can learn and I found that he can learn Screech. What? After earning a heart scale, I taught Screech to Joseph and it was here where I fought Lance once again, but this time with zero items. With Screech, Joseph can now decrease Lance's defenses. In the end, Joseph was able to beat Lance using ethers, X items, and now without either. Way to go, Joseph. You're now a champ. But now it's time for your counterpart to attempt this. Now back to Jock. First off was Guy Rados with 15 constricts. Dang. And they were down. The Pokemon with a name that no one knows how to spell was next. With 10 constricts and they lost. But because they knew Aerial Ace, my HP was rather low. So I came to a realization, because of Ja Ray Doss's Intimidation, I lose some of my attack stat. I had 11 constricts left, and I had 3 Pokemon left to attack. I knew I had to do something about this. So again I allowed Joseph to take a hit for the team. This is so my stats would be resetted. Sorry Joseph. So this time it took 6 constricts for Gyarados, 11 on Aero Ducktail, 5 on the first Dragonite, 7 on the second, 4 on Charcoal Lizard, though he also knows Aerial Ace, so I take a couple of hits. Now his final Pokemon, Dragonite. I use Safeguard, I use 2 Constricts, and I use Outrage. 3 more Constricts? Because their Outrage ended, they got confused. In the final moment of the battle, they got confused and lost the match. It was a miracle of God. It took me about 38 Constricts, with an overall number of about 6 attempts. Drift Blim has become the champion of Johto, by using a grand total of 181 Constricts. With that, Jacques and Joseph both were put in the Hall of Fame along with Tot, Bellsmart, Uhura, MC Hammer, Groot, and Shiitake, with a total in-game count of 160 hours and 46 minutes. But that's not the end. Our next trial to overcome is after 8 more badges. So since I already did a singing montage last time, let's do an anime time skip. Ding! Finally! I'm ready to fight a color. I have most of my challenge Pokemon on my side, rooting for me. I have Swallow on my moveset again, and I'm ready. Let's begin. Oh, let me move that out of here. But first off is Let's Go Pikachu. And... His Volt Tackle practically destroys me. This is gonna be tough. After 123 attempts, I found that it doesn't get easier. Lapras, Blastoise, and even Snorlax. Seriously, Red? It's like you designed a team just to make this impossible. All No Blizzard, which never misses in Hail. Drifloom can learn Rain Dance, so let's try that out. Even after using a bunch of items, I didn't have enough PP in Constrict. It turns out that it is 100% impossible for Drifloom to defeat Red, using only Constrict as a damaging attack. But that's a boring ending. So let's go all out on items. I used Constrict, and Ryan Reynolds fainted Jacques. I used a Revive. They used a full Restore, another Constrict, and Hale took them out. I used a bunch of Revives, 
so that Lapras lost a PP in their blizzard. I used a couple of constricts, and they fainted Jacques. He's alive! Eventually they fainted after they struggled. Next was Snorlax. I had to make them lose their blizzard also. A few revives later, and I went on the offensive. I basically used non-damaging moves so as to maintain PP and constrict, and let Hail beat Snorlax. Hate that blizzard. My challenge team, use multiple revives. I attempted to increase my stats to be able to fight the rest of his team, while Hail aided in my quest. Goop. Next was Charcoal Lizard. Let's now use my constricts. Many constricts later. Bye Felicia. This is it. Venusnor. Did I just say Venusnor? That's funny. Constrict. Heal. Poison. Must. Persevere. Constrict. Constrict. With one final hit by Hail, Jacques won. Or, I guess, Hail won. Either way, Jacques and my team of martyrs were enough to defeat the toughest trainer in all the games in 130 attempts, with the assistance of four restores, four max revives, and 31 revives. And that's it! Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you like my content, feel free to subscribe. Finally, and most importantly, if you have any prayer requests, please, most definitely, leave a comment telling me what you want me to pray about. Okay. Adios Felicias.